And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. Here's Bosher to kick it away. This will be fielded at the 8. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And the Giants on first and ten. Their offense ready to go. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. All right, Brandon, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Second down throw for Vic. To the right side to Eric Ebron. And he goes out right around the 39. At five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. First down carry for Barkley. Some nifty running there. Ultimately, it doesn't get him a whole lot, but it does take him to the 45. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Second down, Vic. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Used to have a coach used to tell us all the time, those scouting reports aren't just to use up paper, guys. Well, nowadays, you know, we're watching a computer screen, right? They scouted this team very well. Know that they like to use the running backs in the passing game. They covered that play successfully. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. On third down, Vic out of the gun. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10. 22. Here's the first carry for LaShawn McCoy. And some room to maneuver. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Let's go. Hey, let's go. 
They'll go again to the core. And he'll get it down here to the 43. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Midfield now. Here's Ryan. The pressure gets to him again. Jabal Sheer in there to get him. And this pass rush strong now. That sacks on back to back plays. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Now Doug Marone with a play clock almost out says let's take a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. With seven yards on the carry there, but now they're staring at fourth down. Now there's a good chunk of yardage picked up there. And big fella, sometimes he doesn't need a whole lot of space created. He can make his own way. Fourth down, here's Ryan. He gets it to Brown, complete. A big pick up there, 20 yards as they convert on fourth. Well, peel back the curtain, partner. We've got a pretty good look into how they plan to play this game. Aggressive seems to be the word. Going for it on fourth down in that situation. Yeah, opening drive. Now, we know this coaching staff, they have traits of aggression in their history, but... to McCoy and able to push his way forward here for a good little gain it's a six yard pickup and it gets him to second and four despite the blitz they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain the disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there again it's McCoy and brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. To throw is Ryan. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Antonio Brown, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Jags are able to cash in for six. Here's Phil Dawson now for the point after. Dawson tacks on the point after, and it's now a 7-0 game. Here's Bosher to kick it away. Oh, 
That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. His throw incomplete. Good coverage that time by the linebacker, Deion Jones. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll get this one up to the 26. One yard, the official pickup there, so it's going to set up third and nine. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Try for the tight end. Ertz, and it's intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down the